almost 6,000 people don't come home from work in North America every year. So you're talking on order of 18 people a day. There's been a lot of focus on prevention. Well, it's reduced numbers of workplace injuries, but we've not reduced the number of workplace deaths in North America really over the last 10 or 20 years. Workers today work remotely, work alone. And if an incident occurs to that individual, how long is it going to take before a response occurs, before someone can actually get there and provide help? And often that means the difference between life and death. To make a difference, changes need to happen. The loaner system is very unique because it, it becomes a location-based emergency system that's more than just a pin on a map. So it does everything from where that person is to who they are, what type of situation they're in, and then how to deal with that situation, which can be the most important. There's a body-worn component that has several automatic detection features like fall detection, no motion, it's uh, got a, a check-in timer, um, safety latch as well. And then the bridge will relay that information back to Blackline servers where we can process the information and send out alerts in real time. Starting from the device that's being worn to the bridge to the satellite to the portal, it's actually very, very quick. Whoever is monitoring that situation, they can get an email, they can get a text message, they can be alerted through the web, and then from there, they start to deal with that situation. Speed and efficiency were primary. So our response time between having that alert and then seeing that alert and having it dealt with becomes very smooth. If you're relying on a system such as a satellite phone, well, a satellite phone won't work if I'm in a building. It won't work if I'm in tree cover. Relying on something like a phone, that's really not realistic. That's not a safety system. Using our uh, indoor location technology, the accuracy is configurable up to five meters. The hardware is quite flexible in that you can go indoors and outdoors. You can uh, move the bridge system from a truck to an ATV to a backpack. You can adjust different settings depending on how the device is being used. And then your response protocol is completely customizable. A bridge can monitor up to 10 loners and this enables the team to self-rescue. We have a patented fall detection algorithm. This is really there to minimize false alarms from false detected falls. It's very important to try to keep the number of false alarms down in any safety system because those make it difficult to respond to the actual alarms when they occur. From a business point of view, we have the information to prove that yes, you've done your due diligence, this is how the device was being used, this is how it covers that uh, potential hazard. It's ruggedized, it's designed for the people who are in the field who have very uh, challenging day-to-day -day operations. And so we've designed the system to be tough, to stand up to that, but not get in the way and not be a challenge to use. This will be a game changer for people operating in, in areas that are only covered by satellite communication. Put very simply, the Loner Bridge is the world's most effective safety monitoring solution for remote employees. We're looking forward to making a difference within the safety industry.